You know, a lot of our commenters <laughs> say that, oh my gosh, I clicked on their thumbnail and there is no girl in naked. And even so, there is no girl in a bikini. I'm afraid you're going to see even less because this is country of multiple religions, including Muslim. So I am dressed for success here. <laughs> Now when we loaded our rented truck full of stuff, we're gonna try and put it on board without dropping anything. Just throw it. Let's try. All right, now we can bring the truck over. You want the camera? We're having a new stripe put on, and instead of sticker, it's gonna be sprayed. And let's go to the back now, because we also had the sail drives completely removed and rebuilt. So the sail drives, one of them had fishing line caught, burned out the seal, oil got inside the sail drive, the oil then raised the level and it was squirting out in the engine room. So we learned that any type of fishing line is gonna cause a sail drive issue. The dinghy davits had corrosion because it was aluminum. So they're completely sanding all that down by hand and then respraying that with Lumicoat and then doing the final painting. All of this in four days, mind you, four days. And a complete sand and bottom job. Where else in the world does that happen? So the solar panels are pretty old and that's why they don't put out as much anymore. And they also, because of the design, they're shaking when on the way. So the pole is gonna go straight up here to supply the support for the upper portion of the solar panels. And then I wanna put a wind generator on port and starboard side. This is kind of like a question to you guys, if you think we should do that or not. I personally think we can just double the solar and we should be fine. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. When you guys show me a solar panel that runs at night, I'm all for more solar. When you're sailing at night, just look at all this wasted power. These are the different solar panel sizes and their wattage output. And so you take these five different variations to come up with a matrix that's going to fit on the current design of the aft of the catamaran. Another consideration is the difference between flexible and rigid. So we're going to go take a look at where I have an idea for the flexibles as well. We have a perfect area that goes from here all the way down to here, surface that a flexible could go and still be giving us at least another 200 watts on each side, thus running the wires down the bottom. A lot of people tell us that flexible panels are not as durable as the rigid ones. What do you guys think? Another thing for you to let us know in the comments. I have to meet William for boating supplies and I can't find him. I'm afraid he's already in the store filling the cart up. Mind you, we have an agreement where we can't put too much on this boat. Oh boy, I'm afraid to find him with a full cart. Busted. <laughs> What's that? It's too big. We found amazing place. Never gonna get us out of here. Are you hinting on something? <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep this boat clean. Five bathrooms. We need five of those. Or maybe five of these. <laughs> but they only make one of these. <laughs> yes, there are no more. No more wives. So we need bumpers and we need one fan and all the other things we're gonna have to go back and measure. The mission begins. Sometimes it just kills me to sit around here and wait for William to ask for my help. I can't even read a book because with a book you need to feel concentrated and focused. And then, you know, I found a very cool game called June's Journey, who is, by the way, sponsoring this video. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game where you get to solve the murder as you're playing it. First, I have to find blue flowers, blue flowers. If you're playing fast, you can actually get bonuses, <laughs> but you can see no bonuses for me. Where is the driver's head? <laughs> right, okay, I found it. Yay, we won. So slowly you get to build your own island here and decorate, it's really, really cool. I usually play this game when I have a little bit of time in my hands or <laughs> to be honest, any five minutes that I'm waiting on William, 
this is the time I'm playing this. Just personally for me, it also helps me to learn my English. This game is available on Android and iOS system devices. You can also access it through the web by Facebook Gaming. If you're looking for a little bit of thrill and mystery in your life, then definitely try this game out. By the way, it's free. So you can download this by QR code or you can use the link in the description below. I am now arrived at a place called Octopus Marine, which is huge. And they have every imaginable Victron item inside, along with solar and fabrication. But as you'll see, kind of interesting is all the shoes must come off and you have to go inside barefoot, which is excellent for me. Pretty unique is that they not only build the batteries and attach all the BMSs, they also make their own boxes and then put the airflow inside. We just got the sale redone and this is an amazing sale place that you have to see. Anything you can imagine, again, in this place is like you just drive and there it is. So let me take you through a quick walk at Southeast Asia sales. Let's go. Well, my friends, looks like this time we're really going to take a chance. <laughs> Mr. Google sent us all the way down by some river and supposedly there is a fishing, fisherman restaurant here. That, again, supposed to be good, but you never know. Google has sent us to like four places that are closed. We get there, there's people all over, but sorry, no food, come later. And let's hope that this one gives us some results because my stomach is like getting very, very empty. So what are you ordering? I was all set to be safe and order steamed rice with chicken. And then I got slapped because Jan is like, no, get prawns or get shrimp or get something that tastes like a nasty river. So I ordered lobster with butter sauce. This man comes to a fish farm restaurant and <laughs> plans to order a chicken. Mm. Okay, this must be the last video for William because the lady just brought us this glass. And we are like, what is it? We didn't order any drinks. And she said that this is blood of a lobster. <laughs> well, I drank half, now it's your turn. I'm not gonna drink half. No, it's I'm your dish, not mine. Chug this blood lobster. Tastes like lemon water. Doesn't taste like lobster blood. Maybe lobster piss. <laughs> Lobster piss. The Mung Tao lobster blood is made from the dragon lobster. Cheers. <laughs> Tiger prawns. Somehow William gets served my food. This is like the best noodles I've, I've tried here so far. Yes. Yeah. Very fresh. He left me with a tail. <laughs> Even dead, this lobster is putting up a good fight. <laughs> this lobster worked out. It's very tasty, sweet, and very, very chewy. You know, like, like a real muscle. I'm afraid I've gotten Yana in this store and a shopping cart. Hey! 50,000 deodorizers and smelly things for the boat. Fiberglass boat, plastic holding tanks. I think I should tell her that that's not deodorant. 
It's actually for a boat. You can use it for, as a do what? <laughs> This is right next to having a chicken on the farm, but you don't have to chase them around. Find some chicken. <laughs> More stuff. <laughs> William, why you bought so much stuff? We were in the car sleeping. Can you imagine? In the US, this would have been about $450. Here, $120. We can live forever here. Can we please take a second to appreciate bamboo ladder to get on and off the boat? The army of <laughs> little helpers from Smells. The doctor and dentist failed to read the instructions. She's opened them all and put them at maximum. So in three days, they'll be completely gone and dissolved. She's starting to push them back down not, with the I'm help not pushing down anything. of an engineer. First, we're gonna go in the most smelly bathroom. I don't know. There's only f <coughs> there's only five bathrooms. Come, guys! Just make sure you do this. Mission: remove the smells. If anyone anyone knows how to remove the smell from a fiberglass catamaran, this sweet sort of smell of holding tank and something else please let me know in the comments we need your help you're hearing from a woman that has been spoiled for five years on a solid teak boat she's introducing her nasal aromas to fiberglass in all fairness boat's been sitting in the heat closed up for a very long time so it needs to be lived in it needs to be aired out as an old friend told me if you can't remove the smell you can always cover it up and i don't want any advice like air out no i need some like cool good scientific solutions here after what we don't know we lost the count of the days cleaning <laughs> modifying cleaning Bringing stuff back and forth, throwing stuff away, bringing new stuff in. Preparing. Preparing for the first shakedown voyage. And uh, I'm hungry. I found an amazing little miso soup place that raises turkeys. So... What? Off we go. <laughs> it's actually a rainy season in Thailand right now, so rain can be like 50 times a day. And one is about to start right now. I was not ready for this. <laughs> William was ready to eat a mushroom soup. I said no. <laughs> it looked too scary. I don't want to go to the uh, to clinic just yet. <laughs> Some of it had things on the bottom. She had to take the spoon and show us, and I still don't know what it was. After a long deliberation of thousands of places along the road we picked this one so hopefully we can survive this not like conch salad but close conch chicken very tasty It actually was really tasty and there is a very big fruit stand here so we might have to go visit that one as well. Everything was so fresh with the shrimps, <laughs> they had heads on them and it was just the whole thing was like an experience, you know? This country is a paradise for strange fruit lovers. <laughs> I want like the tree. <laughs> no pineapples. <laughs> you want anything? She asks after she says you get nothing. So guys, this was eighty-five. It's like it's like two dollars. Three dollars. Come on, it. What? It's nice and sweet. 
the thing is like a mix of a pear and what? An eyeball. A pear and an eyeball. <laughs> That's what I think it is. If you know what they are, tell us in the comments. They, they like have an eyeball in the middle and something like when you have a runny nose. He can spoil any experience. <laughs> Don't take him with you anywhere. And the rental car here is amazing because we have a Ford diesel 4x4. goes everywhere. It's perfect for loading boat stuff. Maybe the last luggage move this voyage. Nine days later, we're still schlepping bags around. Yeah, last couple of bags, heavy bags. And we are off to our first shakedown cruise. Come on, you can do it. It's not that heavy. Evil. Eho, eho. All right, my friends, it's freaking windy and it's probably gonna rain again. Well, rainy season. So um, they're ready to put us in the water. In seven short days, we did 30 days of work at the other boat yards. We're ready to go in. And this is amazing the way that they take this and lift it up. The divers go in the water and they release it. All right, my friends, I'm pretty sure we are moving. And I think they forgot me here inside. So I'm moving with a boat. Looks pretty tight to my taste. You always want to check, make sure there's not any water rushing in when you are first launching. Still no water yet here. The other side we have water, here is no. Yeah, this one is going on normal. William is thinking maybe we have an impeller problem. You normally close the valves out so that the water stays in the system, but if you don't, the water drains out. Now we have to prime it with a bucket of water. Okay, success. One out of two ain't bad. out of the marina, finally. I thought this one gonna be also three years. <laughs> <laughs> so many new adventures awaits. Hopefully good ones. Check the valve and the sound using the good old stick in the ear and the two back are making a little small clacking noise, which is why there is a little low compression, but we'll take care of that after we run. 